All right, so I got a good one for you guys today. Big brain play of the day. Uh, my Stanley Fat Max 25 foot tape measure stopped reeling back in after I extend it. So I'm gonna attempt to fix that today. What I've done already was remove the three screws from the back of the tape measure housing. I've taken off the clip and the screw that was holding that in as well. I'm gonna remove the back panel of the housing to expose the inside. And we see the tape reel that the tape is actually mounted onto. I've also taken off the uh, brake here. So what you wanna do is, I've been messing with this for a little while. What I figured out is I needed to get a carpenter's pencil that I sharpened to have a square end on it. I've sharpened the other end to fit in my screw gun here. And this is what you need to do. You wanna leave this silver piece mounted in here. You don't wanna take that out. You just wanna extend a little bit of tape, hold that in place. You want to take the square end of your carpenter's pencil, stick it into this square hole on the tape reel. You wanna put your screw gun in reverse so it spins counterclockwise. And you wanna lift up on the white tape reel just enough to get it to release. There's a square nub on the other side of the tape housing that's holding that in place. Lift it up just enough so you're able to spin your screw gun counterclockwise. And you wanna turn this for a while. You wanna turn this for a good while and build up tension on that spring. There, I just seated it back into the nub on the other side of the housing. I'm gonna pull it up again just to get a few more turns. Get as many turns as I can. Don't wanna to go too fast. Oh, that's just about as much as I'm gonna get before the end of this pencil rounds over and it won't lock into that square hole anymore. Okay, so in order to put this back together, we've got the reel with our tape on it locked into the square nub like this on the other side of our case. We're gonna insert the brake back into the tape measure, just like that. Put the back side of our case on. Everything fits in and closes up nicely. It seems nice and tight. Take our three screws. And that's it. How to retention your tape on a Stanley Fat Max 25 footer. Big brain place. Okay, my tape needed a major adjustment. If you wanted to add just a little bit of tension, you could always do this. Pop your back of your case off carefully. Make sure you're holding down your white reel at all times. Take your brake out. Now you just wanna finagle this silver uh, piece here out of the, where it's locked in and get just enough tape out to where you can pass over all of the plastic parts and you just wanna rotate it around once. Making sure to push down on this white reel the whole time. Do not let that come out or up. You gotta get that silver piece locked back in like that there. Pop your brake back in. Install your back cover and put your screws back in. And there you go, you've just added a little more tension to your Stanley Fat Max 25 foot measuring tape. Big brain.